Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Stanley. All right, coming in with Power season finale. Um, I will say this, thank you all for hanging in there with us this season. This season has been a, it's been a little different. It's yeah, been a little different yeah, this season. yeah. Um, wasn't quite sure that we enjoyed Power, and then when we got to like the last three to four episodes, is yeah, when I feel like, okay. We got the old Power back then. I can yeah. finally enjoy power and I can enjoy yeah. doing these reviews because before then I was dreading this every Sunday. Huh? But anywho, thank you all for hanging with us. Um, if you haven't hit that sub subscribe button, go ahead and do so. I know yes. that this show is about to be over, but we do other shows too. Indeed. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button because at this point, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. You've already been counted. So let's go ahead Um, when it's over. When it's over. And, and I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah, I, I I don't know how to feel about it because I wasn't expecting for it to end the way that it ended. Uh, I mean, I saw it. Yeah, it was you, leaked. Yeah, it was leaked. So even with me knowing what happened, I still didn't know how to feel about it because I'm like, what led up to this? Now knowing what led up to this, I'm like, I can't even be mad at Tommy for doing what he did, but at the yeah. same time, we're on this quest. <laughs> 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 to gain our freedom and get the people off of our back. But Tommy, didn't you just put the people back on your back, though? Yeah. That's exactly what you did. Man. That's... I'm going to let you get right on into it, though. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting for Angela to get shot. I I, I really wasn't. I, <laughs> I, I'm, like... I'm speechless because, like I said, in the beginning, we, ha we had this hate relationship for Angela because she never went down for anything. But we want to go down like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, we see all season. She has been loyal to them. Yeah. She had many times that she could have ratted them out, had all them in prison. She could have kept her job and moved on with her life and everything would have been peachy creamy. But nah, she wanted to be loyal to them. But let's At go ahead and play life. devil's advocate. Cause I know some people like everybody hates Angela. No, we hate. Angela's character for the simple reason that for some reason we feel like the writer has his heart on for Angela's character. Mm -hmm. And Angela can do everything just like <clears throat> the, can do in that white mm, house and never ever go down for none never of the go down for it. that she does. Now, yeah. look at Ghost. Ghost don't really go down for the skit he did, but at some point all roads lead to Ford Motor Company. Exactly. He has to pay for something sometimes Angela doesn't pay for skit. Don't pay for none of it. And that's all I think most of us wanted was at some point. Make her pay. Make her pay for something. Exactly. That she's done. I mean, yeah, they all they know on amongst these. Yeah. But come on here. This is just unrealistic. Yeah, because we seen at the beginning of the episode, she was on her boss move. She she got all them together. They didn't want to get together. Tommy ain't want to be there. All four of them in the same. Yeah, they're coming out with a plan because she only had 24 hours to come with a plan because she was in the interrogation room because of the RICO investigation. So they had to figure out, well, she had to figure out because they didn't have no plan. Mm -hmm. So her plan was to go to Dre and convince Dre to tell, uh, to tell them that Alicia um, was the one that got the drop, would put the hit on uh, Lobos and Mike Sandoval. And the rest of them was to go, and uh, Tasha was to get Keisha, and uh, Ghost was to get Proctor, because they was gonna be the weak links. Mm -hmm. So she has always been on her on her skit to get them off. Yeah. Even though Ghost always had a, a private plan, <laughs> <laughs> Angela and and Tasha had their private plan all the time. So it was yeah. almost like there was always a plan in motion that no Angela implemented. Out. To try to get them off, and it ended for her like that. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Then we seen Dre. He ended up getting his groove on, and got on. He get rolled up on, and he think Alicia was the one to put the hit. See, he said first of all, Alicia was first demoted me, and then she got a hit put out on me. But I tell you this, we said from what was it? What season was it that Dre was introduced to us? And um, we were always like, Dre is so freaking angry. Was it, I think it was even two or three. And I said, all Dre need is to get laid. Yeah. Dre would get laid this guy do a season. Yeah. But this is the only scene. But it always get cut short. <laughs> it does. It always this. get cut short. <laughs> it's the only scene where I was like, Dre is giving it to this chick. 
And come find out it's his baby mama. Yeah. But baby mama won't never want to be played with either because you could tell she was from the streets. Yeah. Because when they started shooting, homegirl, she didn't go into the corner. Ah! No. Uh -huh. She was like, what the? Bow, bow, bow. She hit him bow. upside the head. Yeah. I said, okay, Dre, you may want to keep her. You may yeah. want to keep her in the Just break off and that and then if you don't want to be serious about her, but you need to keep up. But look, 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 let's talk about Dre for a little bit longer. Dre been coming off as this G, you know, disrespected, yes. two bit and spanky, you know, they got to respect him. You know, Crystal Ball got to respect him. Mr. Now, Coleman. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> call him Mr. Coleman. Now the hit is out on you. He, now he, you acting like he, a little bee. Now you trying to run. He up and then like this. <laughs> I, I get what now? Yeah. So he meeting with Angela. Told me, you need to get this skit rolling. I got a hit out on me. You know, I need to get into protective custody. Right. <laughs> right now. now. But you supposed to be the man. You supposed to be the G. You supposed to be the gangster. I ain't never see Ghost do that. That's the only time I, I ain't see never see Kanan do that. But now you doing that. And running around looking for a bulletproof vest. Yeah. <laughs> so, that he ended up getting from, from, from freaking Tubi. Was two bit spank one of them? Two bit. He got it from two bit. Then he gonna have the nerve to run and tell two bit about the plan that he got with Angela. I said, don't you know you've pissed this boy off yeah. one too many times to confide in him what you about to do and what yep. happened? Tell him also, uh, I'm working with this federal lady and she yeah. wanted me to roll over on um Alicia, but now nah, I ain't doing it. I'm gonna tell him about ghosts and tell him that ghosts and timing had everything to do with that. So basically, when I'm safe, I'm going to change yeah. my story. So 2-Bit was like, so you going to snitch? You a snitch now? That's that's Gangsta 101. You don't snitch. You try to find another way out, but you don't snitch. Huh. So Dre ain't the guy that we thought he was going to be. Yeah. So as long as the pressure went on, he was good. He was Gangsta. Yeah. But the moment that he got on, uh-huh. But Dre is a straight ready. killer, though. He is until the heat get on it. <laughs> Well, yeah. Everybody is a killer to the heat, you know. Ain't that most of them? You yeah. ain't seen the first four days? Uh -huh. They could be in there. Tell my mama, say, hey. Uh, yep. <laughs> Everybody gets soft with the heat on them. Yep. So, of course, because 2 -bit don't like Dre no more, he, mama, we seen him meeting with Tommy to tell Tommy uh, the whole situation was going on with the... Uh, the Dre and the uh, ghost deal. The reason why he still got to connect is because of him. Because he told Kanan about it. Mm -hmm. And Kanan was the one to stop his connect from getting killed. And so Tommy kind of trusts 2-Bit uh, trust now because of the information. I see why mm -hmm. Kanan was working with you. Yeah. And that spinned off to uh, Tasha and Tommy going to try to kill Angela. So I thought Angela was going to get killed right there. Me too. I, well, not really, but I knew. But I, yeah, you, you didn't. Saw, yeah, you haven't saw that. If I yeah. hadn't saw what I saw, I would have yeah. thought that would have been. In it. which it all made sense. It all led back because that's when we found out that Mr. Terry Silver is dead. I was like, what? Terry is dead? Huh? Didn't we just see him mucking the heck out of Tasha and talking to the park? Park? Yeah. yeah. That ghost side, and we knew he felt some kind of way about it. Oh, but he felt some kind of way about that. It, it wasn't, and it won't because that Terry was going to be a snitch. It was because he was bugging his wife, and he couldn't take it. He couldn't take it. Because he's still in love with Tasha. Even if he ain't in love with it, there's something about a man that cannot visualize. Not nah, visualize, mm. but see someone else digging their woman out. Oh, we ain't even got to see it. Just in that our mind. Right. Just, just up here. If you visualize it, it's enough. But yeah. if you actually roll up on that, yeah. it takes you to a place. He saw it. And he saw it. But that was after Tasha told him what he told them. They had the little conversation when he was out at the park that she wasn't going to see Terry no more. And he caught it after that. How many times he said he would see Angela no more? And he ain't not right on over that water. I told you, double standards, man. But once again, in that situation, Angela with her boss moves that we always hated, that she never went down. And she was convinced them that, hey, those pictures, I took those pictures. If you go and look at the pictures, go get the picture, Tommy. You can see and you can see that Cooper Sack desk is in no pictures. That's the only thing that saved her harm for. Yeah, and how would, how would um, Jamie know to take the information over to the Italians? How would he know that? But... This was one point where I felt a little bad. Just a little bad. For Angela? For Angela. Because at that moment, as much skit as she's done, I'm not going to say she did it for Tasha and Tariq. Mm -hmm. Because it it helped her as well. Yeah. 
but she really did stick her nose out there to help make that gun disappear out of the yeah, system. Yeah, she did. All of that. Mm -hmm. Meeting up with Tasha behind Jamie's back. Yeah. Doing all of this stuff to get to a point where Tasha is looking you right in your face and said, I couldn't wait for this moment, for this right? moment right here. But she, so I could smoke this know, beat. And I'm sitting here like, I know what that's about. I felt a little bad right there, but not really. But you know what that I, really was about right there? It wasn't about all the stuff getting them off. That was about her fucking ghost. Yeah, yeah. That's what that was all about. So that's the beef that they have. So, you know, you'll work with the enemy to get your ends met. So... With that information coming up where it looked like Angela actually was, was the one that got Silver killed and was the one that put the thing in motion to, uh, for Tommy to kill Teresa. Yeah, it all made sense to them. It made sense that, to me. Yeah, but I, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but just like on Greenleaf, all, all the roads lead back to Gigi and on Power, all the roads lead back to Angela. True. Yes, every time. And what they do? Because she's the one that, that reveals all the pertinent information that she's supposed to be sharing. And she's the one to end up there. Well, we don't know. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't know. But have we ever seen Tommy miss a shot? No. No. He don't do that Tyler Perry, oop, I thought you were dead, but you ain't dead. Yeah. Tommy shoots you, 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 you about dead. And the way that goes hollered. Yeah, that was from his soul. I was like, oh, so you really did love her like yeah, that. he did. He did. But, then did this the part? That's, that, okay. I need to hear him get this up so I can watch my other fellow YouTubers. Because <laughs> I want to know what they think about the fact that Tommy tried to take Ghost out. Because that bullet was not intended for Angela. Nope. He was shooting at Ghost and Angela pushed Ghost, Ghost out the way. way and she took the bullet. And we ain't never see Tommy get to the place. But he wanted to kill Ghost. You remember in, in the past season we did see him go to kill Ghost. He but he never it. took the shot. Couldn't do it. He never could take the shot. But he actually took the shot this time. He took the god darn shot. Yep. But can we even be mad at Tommy for taking the shot? Once no. Tommy realized all of the balls that were put in motion for him to be totally manipulated. Cause yeah. that's what yeah. happened. Oh, that's what, yeah, he was manipulated, yeah. He done found out that Ghost put the ball in motion for him to kill his own father. Yep. He done found out that his father really wasn't actually going wasn't to a snitch. snitch on him. Yep. With uh, audio proof of yep. it <laughs> And now he's feeling some kind of God don't way about it. And he's sick and tired of Ghost always being right. I told you so. Yeah. Can we be mad for him to take the shot, though? Yeah. The only person that truly loved Tommy the way that Ghost loves Tommy, well, we would say Kate loves Tommy, too. Yeah. Was his father. Yep. Because at first, I was a little shaky about it. About Teresi and him. Oh, yeah, but it... But once he got... Once he Teresi turned. got to know, know him, it was like, nah, I can't roll over on my son. But then Kate, um, Connie, Connie, had something to do with that, too. Yeah. Connie was like, you know, we all saw, if you kill him after me, you're going to be by yourself. That's another part that I got to say about this whole, oh, you know, if you kill your son, there's nobody going to be left after I'm gone that's basically going to be here for you. Why is it that people don't reconcile with each other just because? Yeah. Why are you reconciling and doing the right thing by your son because your dad gonna wife get ready to die and you scared exactly. to be alone? Mm -hmm. That would make me feel some kind of way too. I probably still would have killed him after that. Yeah, exactly. If I found oh, out that. The only reason that you don't want yep. me dead or you don't want to turn me over is because after your wife died, I'm the only thing that you gonna have left. So that's your reasoning for sparing me? Yeah. Oh no, I would kill the dude. Yeah. <laughs> and like I was telling you earlier, man, that guy doing time and he been loyal too throughout this whole thing he's the most solid yeah he is say. very solid and you got to remember he told keisha he was like at the beginning of the episode when he was spazzing out you know on the coat <laughs> oh god and he was like everybody that gets close to me ends up hurting me and i hurt them and i end up <laughs> no, hurting them. them and you remember that he was getting ready to kill keisha i was like we can't have another holly we we can't have another holly and of course in the same apartment yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and we gotta realize we, we uh got doing it. Lost train of thought for a second there. It's all right. But it's all right. Let him use you. But I was like, why don't let this happen again? I said, because so carefully. Because you remember, uh, Cooper Sachs was the one that put in her head that she needed she needed to convince Tommy to roll over on Ghost. 
And so that's what her plan was. And he was like, Tom was like, you know, you told me you was 100% in. I had your back. Let me know. Matter of fact, if you think protecting you and your son is a good thing, go snitch. And he had the gun. And I was like, God, don't it, Keisha. Said, said, Keisha. Keisha answered her right. She was like, I'm all in. I was like, oh. I actually thought that she wasn't going to answer right. They were going to take her out. Because to be honest, as much as I love Lala, like I actually do like Lala in real life. Yeah. What does her character really do for the show? Other than be the supportive friend. Yeah. That that's always what... gets that tail end of the stick. Yeah. You know, so. She's the alibi. She's so, always the alibi. Yeah, she's the alibi. You can find another one of those. <laughs> so I don't know if you can find it like Keisha though. I don't even know if she they even have it anymore with Keisha. Yeah. Keisha's about done. And I'm not even mad at her because this would have set me off too. Was when Tasha goes over to the apartment after Tasha, I mean after Keisha and Tommy had had that run in, she came back to her place and she was crying. Tasha gonna come through the door. She didn't even notice that this girl, girl was, was even crying. Nope. She went right into what I need, what I need you yep. to do, what you need to do for me. And, and Tasha family. always come at her like that. And she was like, um, so Buck, what I'm going through. Yeah. You only see these two, you, right? only, you were crying over this? She was like, girl, ain't that everything ain't about you? <laughs> and it's crazy. And this part messed me up right here too, was when Tommy was going his way to go to get Angela. And he switched, took um, Holly's ring off his necklace, man. I, said, oh. I never thought we was going to see that right there. I said, oh, Keisha got his heart. So Keisha, Keisha got, got his heart. heart. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, so I, I I don't know. I don't know how Tommy and Ghost's relationship is going to go from here. Because, they need to move. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. Mm -mm. Yeah. So I, I maybe, maybe in Tommy's mind now... Is you helped me kill my girl, so I killed your girl. See, that's what I was saying, too. Although the bullet was not intended for Angela, mm -hmm. I was going to kill you, but <laughs> she'll do. Yeah, because he had that smile on his face. Like, even though I didn't kill you, I killed, I killed you. Because I killed something that you love. Ooh. Just something that you've been putting between us for all this time. I guess she gone. We guess. Yeah, so I don't know what y'all think about Angela uh, being shot. I don't know. And what timing them, how this going to go from here, what's going to happen with Tariq. Yeah, we didn't see him at all, this one. I, I was mm -hmm. cool with that, though. Yeah. But but let's back up and let's talk about Dre one more again. One more again, you're going to put on. <laughs> because after Dre, he ended up with the bulletproof vest and he was down there waiting for Angela and them peoples to come through to take him into custody because the block was hot. Yeah. He turned into a mighty morphin Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I said, you got about 25 that guys shooting at you. And they know at this point they got to take headshots because yeah. they don't already let everybody know that you got on the vest. And you mean to tell me that Dre emptied a clip, had to reload a clip magazine, and ain't nobody shoot him. Ain't nobody. Only, Only got shot, shot him in the leg. One shot in the in leg. In the leg. But did you see the boss move that Tommy did, though? Yeah. Because Tommy was supposed to have taken him out. And what he could? But we all know that Tommy needs his business back up in an operation. Mm -hmm. He basically flushed the rat into police custody. Yep. And forced him... To say that Alicia did it, Alicia <laughs> did this. So now he's out the way. Let's let's make let's make some money. Let's go make some. We got some weight. We need to move. And everybody was like, "Why you didn't take that?" He said, "We got a business to run." Uh -huh. And everybody yep. looked like, "Oh, oh I okay. see what you I did, saw dog." What you did. Yep, I see what you did. I said, "Okay, did you learn that from Ghost?" All he had to learn it from Ghost because they they want a timey chess move. That was not a timey. That's move. definitely something that Ghost would have did. But yeah, I yeah. But so, I like I like the season for now. Like I tell you, I. I but I'm glad Silver did. Yeah. yeah. However it happened. Yeah. I'm glad that Silver <laughs> is digging. But but what are we gonna do with our boy Proctor though? Proctor, he just he just he just caught up in a situation that he don't. He got his license back. You know, he's trying to get his, get his daughter away from his crackhead uh, ex wife. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Uh, Nick's. Mm, 
I but can they, only see this being one more season left of power. That's we thought that we thought that this season. We thought it was done. We thought it was done. Now we like bring on season six. We gotta wait for a whole year for it. Though. I can't recover after my brother tried to shoot at me. Uh, yeah, they didn't recover from us a whole lot of skin. With a silencer. Yeah, so I We'll see. I can't, I can't, mm -mm, I don't know. What y'all think, man? Y'all just, I know y'all gonna let us know what you think in the comments, Phil. Yeah, so we, we gonna go ahead, um, and go on about our life. Yeah. And recover from this here. And we'll probably see y'all back here for season six, I guess. We guess. <laughs> well, look, we might be just watching it on the sidelines with y'all. Hey, look, and don't forget to cancel your stars package, man. Today. Well, well, we go yeah. we go cast the lines at the end of the month. Yeah, after we after we watch the season six um content reveal, it's supposed to be coming up. See what what season six is gonna be all about. Uh huh. But uh, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Holla.